no pain, no gain. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, we're gonna be doing another Monday Motivation. I'm, you know, I'm sure most of you guys already saw the thumbnail or you're watching this on a Monday. Therefore, you already know what's up, you know, when it comes to, uh, you know, the whole Monday Motivation uh, episode that we're filming here. And so uh, today what we're gonna be talking about more than anything else is how to achieve your dreams. Yeah, I know, pretty, pretty broad, you know, because uh, basically everyone has different dreams and everyone has different wants, needs, desires, all that stuff and uh you know what are your dreams and how do you achieve yours and how do you get yours and all that good stuff so that's kind of what we're going to be talking about today because you know a lot of you guys are always talking to me asking me you know all kinds of things i mean like uh, how i'm first of all besides asking you guys are always commenting on how awesome you know everything i do is in my life and how do i how did i achieve it and how do this and all that now a lot of you guys already know you know you can find out all that all that out just watching my older videos and you have more of a you know again bird's eye view as to you know the real situation as to you know how um i was able to get you know everything i have and uh achieve i guess a sense of my dreams and all that good stuff uh and again it's not really like in a sense um that difficult um as i've explained to you guys many times before it just takes this one little thing and that's work and uh actually there's two little things self-accountability oh wait there's more in fact there's a bunch of things that you got to do <laughs> it's a whole list and um you know in fact you already know um gary v loves to join me on these uh conversations and these talks today's no different we have gary v joining us in fact we're gonna have him snip snipe in real quick you know see what he has to say that works everybody starts at zero some people start at different places but anybody who does it for themselves has to sacrifice like yes like move like my city's expensive move like my car payments are high sell your car and buy a piece of shit car take the bus this is dreams we're talking about we're talking about dreams so yeah you know what i mean like uh you saw a little clip there of uh, Gary V explaining to you and talking to you about the same thing I'm kind of bringing up here, which is your dreams and the audacity that so many people have out there that they want to achieve their dream, whatever that dream is, and yet they're not willing to sacrifice. They're not willing to put in that work. They're not willing to do all the things that they got to do in order to get from point A to point B. And it's as simple as that. You know, the reality is, the reality is, is that no matter what it is you want to do or achieve in life, you got to put in that work. And I'm always hearing people, oh, I, I, you know, I want to move to Mexico and I want to live the life that you live, but I got this, that, blah, bleak, bleak, blah, blah. Oh, I got expenses. I got my this. I got a that. I got a that. I got a this. I got a, I got kids. I got whatever. Whatever the hell it is. And um, all I ever hear is excuses. You know, no matter what it is, anytime anyone tells me why they can't achieve their dream whatever that dream is because it's not always about you know uh the dream isn't always about only one particular thing you know again um i talk about many things on my channel but for example some people say hey i want to be a millionaire i want to be a crypto millionaire okay you know <laughs> it's like that's cool you know what i mean what are you doing to get there what are you uh what kind of work are you putting in in order to get from point A to point B? Oh, you're not putting any work. Oh, you're just buying a few cryptos and hoping and expecting to be a millionaire. Okay, all right. Oh, oh, you said you wanna move out here? You wanna move to Mexico? You wanna live this life? You wanna live my life? You wanna do what I do? Or what other YouTubers do? Oh, okay, so what are you doing to get there? Ah, oh, I see. Nothing. <laughs> you know, you're just watching a bunch of videos, right? Okay. And look, I mean, I see it all the time. I don't talk about this. I don't talk about this on my other channel because my other channel talking about travel, you know, living out here in Mexico, um, dealing with dogs. Look at this guy. I got to show you. Look at this guy. He's like, I'm going to bite you, motherfucker. <laughs> but anyways, anyways, as I was saying, and my other channel, you know, talking about travel, living out here and all these other things, I try to keep it more G-rated because, you know, just trying to expand to a broader audience. On this channel, you guys already know, I keep it 100 all day, every day. Why do you curse so much? 
for a guy who doesn't need to. Because I only believe in authenticity. It's how I talk. When I think about do I care about my employees, it feels more in my brain and my heart and my soul, do I give a fuck about my employees more than do I care about my employees. That's from my brain and heart to my mouth. But I feel like there are people who will never consume my content. Oh, are you kidding me? Of the F. I am willing to deal with the ramifications of me being my full self. Do you curse at home? A ton. In front of your kids? Yep. I'm just not devastated to go into my fourth grade teacher and Mrs. Thompson's like, you have a real problem. What's that, Mrs. Thompson? Your daughter curses. I just don't see that as a real problem. Me and Mrs. Thompson just don't see the world the same way. I'm the byproduct of Mrs. Thompson telling me my whole life that I would be a failure. Mrs. Thompson thought that a D in science was going to be my downfall, just like she thinks saying fuck is her downfall. I don't agree. And so, this is no different. Um, And so, you know, on this channel, you know what I mean? Like, for example, I remember when I first, 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 first moved out here, there was absolutely no YouTubers. No YouTubers in this area of Mexico talking about living in Mexico. In fact, there was like a handful of people making YouTube videos um, for all of Mexico. But fast forward to today, there's like hundreds and hundreds of YouTubers out there. 100 YouTubers more. 200 YouTubers more. 500 YouTubers probably. I don't know if there's hundreds, but there's definitely a lot. Bruh. And uh, and it's so funny because every once in a while, every once in a while, I'll watch a channel, I'll find the channel, um, and they're like, oh wow, okay, these guys are doing the work. These guys are actually, you know, um, going through with this and putting in um, all the work that is necessary in order to uh, make, uh, you know, whatever um, YouTube channel or video or whatever succeed. Um, but then I see a lot of people they just make a few videos here and there. They kind of abandon the channel. And, you know, at least me, from my perspective, you know, I quickly realized what happened. That, uh, you know, they see someone like me or any other YouTuber out there. Um, they say, oh, I can do it. If that guy can do it, I can do it. And then they do it. And then they quickly realize, oh, wait a minute, I can't do this. <laughs> because the, re- the real reason is because it's not that they can't do it. Anyone can do it. But, you know, again, it's like, if I were to freaking say right now, um, I want to play in the NBA. Yeah, I mean, I can want to play in the NBA all I want. I could be probably the best three-pointer shooter in in the world. Now, am I going to be on an NBA team? Probably not. In fact, you can bet your sweet ass I'm not going to be on no NBA team. That's another story for another day. <laughs> but, but, but regardless, you know, um, with that being said, um, you know, I'm just, I gotta be realistic and, and, and just know that, you know, the best I'll probably be able to play in the D League or the minor leagues of basketball or something like that. So look, it's the same thing when it comes to like anything in life. Um, you know, you gotta have realistic expectations. You gotta, you know, know your limits. You gotta know a lot more about you. That's what I'm always talking about. Um, being truthful with yourself, being honest with yourself, you know, going through that, all that introspection, all that, you know, all that stuff that most people just don't wanna do. Um, that look and look within and uh, doing all that hard work But I digress, you know, what I mean like for example a lot of people like I said, you know, just using the the, the YouTube example um, Like I said or any example, you know, what I mean it could be anything, you know, like right now You know what forget the YouTube example. I don't want to make it about that because I know how people are <laughs> um, But like it's like, you know, you're sitting on your couch like me. Let's talk about me. I'm sitting on my fat couch all right, on Sunday, watching the NFL, watching football, and um, you know, all of a sudden, Tom Brady throws a pass and he doesn't hit his guy, and all of a sudden, I'm sitting there saying, um, "Oh, I could have done a better job. <laughs> I could have thrown a better, you know, uh, uh, touchdown or what have you." And it's like, and I'm there sitting on my couch, eating, uh, eating Doritos, um, you know, not moving. Uh, he basically can't even reach for my soda and I'm there you know I'm thinking that I can do a better job than anyone on on screen and the reality is it's like you know why is that well because you know no one's perfect everyone has you know their thing but there's really just like two kinds of people in the world you know there's a uh, the doers and the people that watch you know basically the people that are you know, out there doing things, the, the, you know, the group of people that are actually um, making things happen, they're actually playing the game, all right, and getting results. 
and then there's like another huge group of people that are out there that just want to be spectators so you know when i watch you know football when i watch any kind of sport any kind of thing like that i'm just a spectator and i'm more than happy to just be a spectator and i'm not trying to pretend like i'm anything else but a spectator um but when it comes to just about everything else i do i'm a player i'm playing i'm, I'm literally you know um um involved on in the day-to-day -day, um interactions of uh, my life and the things that i do and things like that and so that's basically you know one of the things i'm always telling you guys you got to take full control you got to take all the control and stop being <clears throat> led by um other people and other things and outside influences um that at the end of the day have no interest that they do not have your best interest they don't have any interest in you at all and for many reasons and so it's up to you to take charge and um stop making excuses because again it's always an excuse it's a million excuses no matter what i could have made a million excuses for not coming out to mexico when i did but the reality is is that you know when the time came i knew that i had no excuses and so that's why i just moved on ahead and did it um uh I, you know i hate living in regret i hate that whole idea of what if what could have been what should have been i don't live in that world i live in the world of getting shit done at whatever cost and you know whether it's failure or whether it's success it doesn't matter at least i know i'm not regretting not doing it i'm never you know um in rem you know like thinking you know how come i never was able to accomplish xyz how come i never was able to get this done or no i mean these thoughts never enter my mind because I'm always giving it my all. And uh, if I if I succeed, great. If I fail, great. You know what I mean? Because it's like, you know, if I if I fail and I and I decide that I want to keep doing that, well, I do it. But if I fail and I and I realize, oh wait a minute, this is not for me. Um, this is not working out. Whatever, whatever that is, again, at least I have already that out of my head, you know, meaning I already took care of that situation and I know that um no matter what, um, I at the very least gave it my shot. I don't have that lingering in my head and in my in my thoughts for forever and all these other things, you know? I just get it done. You know, like I said, I have that, you know, I just take the, initi the initiative and do it. And so, you know, just coming back, you know, full circle. All right, hold on, because I got these guys right in front of me. I'm trying to, hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can uh, scoot through here. Taking out the garbage, that's how they do it out here. I guess it stinks <laughs> um but yeah you know um as a matter of fact i'm here at the store i gotta pick up a few things real quick let me go in the store let me pick up the few things that i gotta pick up uh load my bag with goodies and um as i walk back home we'll finish this episode in fact you know what i'm gonna do now i'm actually gonna play that full video that i was gonna i was actually gonna play this at the end of the video but what i'm actually gonna do is i'm gonna give you guys a little treat i'm gonna play this video now which is a little gary v video and then from there um you know we'll pick it back up and we'll walk back to the other direction and we'll finish this video with this episode all right and then i'm gonna play another gary v thing at the end just because I'm, I'm feeling special and his stuff is free to use so it is what it is all right i'll see you guys in a second look at that guy This is dreams we're talking about. We're talking about dreams. So many people are asking me like, how, how do I live my dream, Gary? And you know, I don't have time. I have mortgages and bills and responsibilities in my job. I don't have time for my side hustle, my Twitch channel, my Instagram account, my Shopify store selling hoodies. And I keep getting to this new place, which is talk to me about your bills. Like, why'd you buy an apartment that stretches you? Why is your car so fancy? Like, why do you need the new Gucci every time? Like, why are you, why are you going out Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night? Like, why are you going to Coachella? Like, why, why are you going to Avengers opening night and buying the biggest piece of popcorn and candy? Like, the answer to all of your questions is not how much money you make or how much time you have, it's what you're spending your money on. Why do you want the newest pair of Yeezys? Why? Why? You're 
not entitled to your dream. You're not entitled. Nobody's entitled to be a, an amazing dancer. Nobody that, that tours the world and gets to dance and open for Beyonce and make 580 a year and fucking live it and go to fucking, you know, you know <laughs> Monaco on the fucking weekends. Like, it's not how it works. Everybody starts at zero. Some people start at different places. But anybody who does it for themselves has to sacrifice. Like, yes, like, move. Like, my city's expensive, move. Like, my car payments are high. Sell your car and buy a piece of shit car. Take the bus. This is dreams we're talking about. We're talking about dreams. We're talking about, like, I want to be a professional gamer. We're talking about, I want to get paid $200,000 to give a speech. We're talking about shit that isn't normal. Dreams require sacrifices. People don't want to sacrifice. Like for some reason, DNA, parenting, circumstance, I'm on the extreme end of everything's my fault. Nobody owes me shit. I shouldn't get anything unless I bleed for it. It's one big framework, DRock, of like, of self-esteem, lack of self-esteem, slash insecurity, entitlement, or accountability. It's these huge things. I'm not judging people other than I'm asking people and I'm bringing up a different debate that isn't being talked about a lot, which is why do you want to go to Coachella? That's what I'm interested in. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the little snippet there from uh, Gary V. Um, I'm deciding to throw in a, a little bit more Gary V and um, whatever inspirational stuff I can find throughout the videos. Uh, by the way, so a lot of you guys probably asking me why do I use Gary Vee and only him um, and stuff like that. Well, it's, it's honestly, it's because anything else out there is copyrighted striked or everybody wants to make money. Everybody's on a different, you know, um, situation when it comes to that. And again, it is what it is. I get it, you know what I mean? Um, but I am like Gary Vee. I allow my content to be used freely. He allows his content to be used freely. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, his content is to, to help us all um, in one shape, form or another. You know, it helps me make these videos. It helps you guys, you know, uh, you know, uh, understand my concept and what I'm talking about a lot easier and all that other good stuff. So shout out to Gary. You know, I love that guy. You know, one of my dreams is to hopefully get to meet that guy one time. But again, just to have a beer with him and uh, say hi and say thank you and uh, say thank you on behalf of all of you guys as well and all that other good stuff. And I know eventually if I keep doing what I'm doing, I probably won't meet him. That's down the line. Now, you know, I, I'm not, again, I'm not here, you know, making any illusions out of that or to myself or anyone. Uh, I know that in order for that to happen, it's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of effort. It's going to take a lot of, uh, <clears throat> you know, um, no, what is it? No pain, no gain. It's as simple as that. And so, you know, at least for me, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, that's like a whole model to life. You know what I mean? No pain, no gain. And uh, a lot of people hate pain. A lot of people are scared of pain. A lot of people live in fear. And in fact, you know, going and talking about that for a minute, that's probably why, and that's not probably, that is why we are living in the world that we're living in today with all the insanity happening with the, the virus and, and everything that has to do with all that stuff is because so many people are scared of pain. So many people are scared of uh, rejection. So many people are scared of hard work. Um, so many people are scared, 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 scared to even think for themselves. They don't have confidence, they don't have anything. And so that's why we are where we are now. And uh, basically the ones that are surviving this are those that are not that mentally weak. And um, the whole men weak mentality comes, you know, basically from any, you know, just like anything else, you know, your, your brain, just like everything else is a muscle. And if you don't work that muscle out, it's going to get weak and, uh, you know, atrophy, right? Or I don't know if I'm using the right word, uh, but at the end of the day, it's not, it's going to become so weak um, that it's not going to be able to do what it does and, or at least work at hundred percent capacity. And, um, you know, again, why I do these videos and I go out on a walk, because look, I had to film this video today and I also had to go run a few errands. Christian was going to go get these and run this errand and, uh, and it was going to be real quick, but I said, no, 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 I'll go because that way I can take my walk, that way I can film my episode and I can do all this. Now I can film this episode in my room 
under air conditioning in the comfort of my own home um you know without any uh any problem whatsoever um but it's just not the same how the hell am i gonna sit here and talk to you guys about no pain no gain um, i tell you guys you know what i mean like nothing's easy you gotta go out there and get it you gotta go out there and work for it you gotta go out there and make those moves and do those things um when i'm there sitting comfortably you know what i mean speaking you know like uh you know from my office chair you know what i mean like uh you know telling you um to go out there and and, and work and get it done and you know again the reason i do this is because and i take these walks is because well first of all this is like the format of these videos and uh it's it's a motivating factor it's a motivating video and uh you know especially in like for example in the topic of today um that we're talking about the things that we're talking about you know again the whole no pain no gain is like a major contributor component to it and um if all of a sudden i start resting on my laurels and i start you know doing things the easy way um and i and i stopped you know going uh and 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 uh uh, how do I say it's like pushing myself it's if I stop pushing myself it's if I stop um you know uh trying to go harder if I stop you know doing these things that I normally do everything's gonna just fall apart and so look I, I want to say it again is I want to put this at the beginning of the episode no pain no gain and that goes for anything in life okay you want to be a you know a youtuber doing what i do well then you got to put yourself through a lot of the pain work efforts sacrifice and everything that i do because i make it look easy and I'm, I'm sure that you guys probably perceive something else looking at me through the camera but if you guys know what it takes to put all this together on the other end of the camera then you understand a little bit more and it's just like anything else you know i'm sure you guys see people like arnold schwarzenegger um sylvester stallone now you can tell my age right all these muscle bound freaks right and um some people understand some people are fully um capable to understand that in, in order for them to get to being the the you know like mr universe or the number one actor number one bodybuilder number one whatever the fuck you know it is that they're doing um it took a lot of work it took a lot of effort it took a lot of sacrifice it took a lot of everything and then that goes for everything you know a lot of you guys are out there like oh i want to speak to um crowds of thousands of people or i want to sing a lot of music and to, to famous people or i want to again become famous you know uh internet famous you know um i want to you know achieve all these dreams i want to do all of these things i want to you know yada 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 blah 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 but no one's willing to put in that work and to me that is like the most hilarious thing to to so much of this you know and again on top of that then they give excuses everyone's always with an excuse oh i am not in shape because those twinkies are too yummy you know oh i'm not in shape because i don't have time to uh work out i don't have time i don't have this i don't have that I don't have, and all i hear is always excuses there's always excuses and uh, you know for me I guess you know from where i come i come from you know i come from you know the gutter a very hard life um i became a chef you know even harder lifestyle and to me i came from a world where excuses everybody has one like an asshole you get what i'm saying like every everybody has one but the reality is it's like it's so many few people out there that are actually just doing things and not complaining and if you're complaining too much then maybe you got to figure out your shit and uh, and drop some of those things that are making you you know uh complain so much because if you're complaining so if you're doing you're following your dream and all you're doing is complaining well maybe you got to reassess those dreams and maybe you got to reassess and uh, go back to the drawing board but again a lot of people are unwilling to even do that and um you know like gary v was saying a little earlier also you know what i mean like if you want to let's say you want to travel the world but at the same time it's like you gotta have a brand new bmw you gotta have a huge house with a huge mortgage you gotta this you gotta that you gotta this and then you're like oh well, i can't travel or i can't achieve my dreams of being a musician or i can't do this or i can't do that because of this and that's like listen you're the ones that are putting all those barriers in front of you you're the one that's putting all of these excuses in front of you you're the one that's creating all of these hurdles you know in order for you not to be able to do something like this this is all your fault and uh, but most people are not willing to accept it look even now i think a lot of people that are you know in a sense you know going through a lot of this stuff yeah i want to see where exactly is that horn coming from he's uh 
kind of loud, right? Hola, buenos dias. <laughs> oh, there he is. All right, so I'm just gonna wait for him to swing by real quick because I'm... okay, I think the noise is gone. <laughs> Anyways, you know, let me uh, come full circle. Let's circle back to what I was saying. You know, at the end of the day, every anyone and everyone can achieve their dreams. But the reality is, is that the reality is, is that are you willing to sacrifice and put yourself in the position to win? Are you willing to sacrifice and put yourself in a position to achieve and uh, and get these things that uh, you want, that you deserve, that you've earned? and all that in between. And uh, you know, it's all up to you. It really basically all, always boils down up to you. And uh, you know, if, if you wanna like, let's say travel the world, but the things that are holding you back is like, let's say your, your car note, your mortgage, and all of these extra expenses, you know, your very, you know, um, expensive iPhone, and I can do, you know, go on and on. And you're like, oh, I don't have any money to travel. I don't have any money saved up. I don't have any money for a lot of these things. And again, this is all your fault. Sell your iPhone. Get rid of the car, get rid of the house with the mortgage, you know, get rid of all this crap and go do what you want to do. Oh, you don't want to do that? Oh, because you're scared? Oh, because you're this? Oh, because you're that? Okay, well then stop, stop complaining, stop blaming, stop whatever. You have, everyone has the ability to do whatever they want. Um, but whether they do it or not, that's up to them. And so whenever someone is not doing what they want, whenever I hear somebody not doing what they want, and I see, and I see them just complaining and, and, and complaining and complaining and complaining and complaining about why they're not you know able to achieve or get what they want it's all excuses because like i said all i wanted for me and my personal life was freedom and i was able to attain that really easily by just you know um getting out of my comfort zone and just coming out here just literally selling the three things that i had you know getting rid of the, the few comforts that i had and uh changing my mindset and realizing that, you know, all I had to do was just go do it. And I did it. And I never, you know, and I, I haven't looked back since. I've, I've been so happy and so, you know, not just with this decision, but every decision I've made that I've just gone to do, wh however it turns out. And, and that's the thing, you know what I mean? Like, um, I've, the reason I have had so many life experiences, the reason I have so many stories to tell, the reason I have had such an amazing life even when i was a chef and i'll cook and i hated my life and it was hard and difficult and it was the, the the all these things that came with that you know what at the end of the day oh wow i think we've hit a new world record when it comes to heating up this camera i literally burnt myself all right on the camera that's how hot it's gotten so and that's how hot and heavy this episode has been so let me not waste any more time let me not melt my camera and myself anymore today um i think it's time for us to wrap this up uh, i've already had a few interruptions you know um the universe is trying to tell me to wrap it up so with that being said guys like i said even when i was a chef and I, the reason i became a chef and lived that life more than anything else was because the freedom that it came with you know and um, the lifestyle that it came with but the minute that that lifestyle and that um whole ideal did not match you know the original you know idea of why i became that you know once it wasn't like working anymore that's when i decided to do something else and something else and something else and always chasing um my dreams always chasing my wants and desires always always going after you know um what i want and the life that i want want whether i got it or not but at least i was going after it going going to go get it uh, instead of making excuses and being miserable and uh and and sad and playing the little tiny violin and uh, blaming the world and blaming everyone when the reality was that you know if i wasn't happy it was my fault and taking self-accountability and uh becoming responsible and just going out there and doing it and uh I've never been happier, all right? So that's where we are now with all that. Um, I think that's it, like I said, let's uh, finish this episode. I'm gonna play another Gary V something at the end of this to help round this out. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I hope you guys are enjoying uh, these new Monday motivations as we're bringing them back and we're trying to, you know, play with them a little bit um again if you like these videos uh, and you want more content please go to my website down below and find all of the channels that i do stuff on again i have a podcast on another channel i have a cooking channel i'm gonna get back on soon i have um you know this channel in which i talk about monday motivation i talk about all these other things check out the channel so you can find out and then last but not least um my channel which is living out here in mexico talking about all the things about what it is like to live out here in mexico as an expat as a as a foreigner as an american and everything that comes with that you know the good the bad the ugly and everything in between so you already know what's up guys um 
check out my channel check out my links down below check everything out i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did oh well you're still here watching so whatever you know so i'm guessing you did don't forget to hit the like don't, that helps a lot don't forget to share it helps a lot don't forget to stay awesome but more importantly than anything else thanks again for watching and uh hit the bell icon so you never miss a day uh, a, a drop any one of my videos on any channel thanks again for watching flip it over to gary v and i'll see you guys on the next one bye